Hey, what's up everyone? This is Tyson at Titans of CNC, and I'm in front of the Doosan SMX 3100ST, and we're gonna do something crazy today. I've got a chunk of 718 Inconel. It's not just any Inconel, it's 718 that's been solution treated and heat treated. It's probably up there with some of the hardest materials that I've ran before. I'm not just gonna do a regular turning operation with this Inconel, I'm gonna do something pretty cool called pinch turn. So pinch turning sounds like it might be a complicated pass. It sounds unusual, but it's actually really easy to do in Mastercam. Pinch turning is where I'm gonna take the top spindle and bottom turret, and I'm going to run them both at the same time. Now, if I had a machine where I had two turrets symmetrically apart 180 degrees, I could do balance turning. It would run at the same time, and it would balance the part in between the two turrets. But I can't really do that on this machine. I I could run them both at the same time, but I wouldn't have the advantage of balance turning because for this turret, it's not symmetrical. You have the top spindle coming down straight, and then you have the bottom turret coming in at an eight o'clock angle. So for this, I can do pinch turning where it is running at the same time, but one turret's gonna be off a little bit in Z. So I'm gonna program a rough pass, and then the other turret's gonna run that same rough path, and it's gonna come in an eighth of an inch in Z off. That's gonna split the roughing pass between the two when I hit the pinch turning command. It's gonna alternate the depths between the two tools. One pass is gonna go in, it's gonna cut off 50 thousandths of material, so 50 thousandths per wall, 100 thousandths diameter. The second pass is also going to do that, but it's gonna run the next line of code. So it's actually cutting in deeper. It's still cutting 50 thousandths of material, it's just running the next line lower. By doing this, you can split the tool path between two tools and you can run more efficiently because really you're basically running the program in half the time because it's split between the two. All right, that was awesome. We did pinch turning in Inconel 718. The machining was pretty cool. Inserts look good. Hey, if you wanna see more cool videos like this, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.